Hello everyone, it's me once again. So this is a July update. Um, actually, it was on the 2nd of July that I received this email. It's basically an email from the backers. So I'm one of the backers of um, the Little Sophia project and um, it's quite promising so far. But what I wanted to share for those who are not a backer, who are curious about um, how Sophia works, I just thought that these animation, these GIF, um, images would be very helpful to give you an idea how it works. So we all knew, I think most of you who are, who heard about Sophia, knows that her eyes blink as a standard. But I, you can see all the mechanical uh, function where her mouth also will move, which is also I'm sure you're aware of. Um, and it, this is quite cool. It shows all the 3D animations of all the joints and etc all the intelligence of little Sophia has and all the details so that's quite promising and impressive so they basically wrote uh, saying that uh, they're working on the animations on her expression which is quite promising also the walking side this is something I wasn't aware of now you can see that this animation shows her legs her were, will be moving at the same time while her arms work so I don't know if you ask her a question when she, she said, for example, I don't know whether she will actually shrug or not. But uh, it looks like, unfortunately, this mechanism shows while her legs move, her arms have to move at the same time. So it's simply maybe if you make a command saying, Sophia, come here, her arms will move then. But if you were to ask her a question for her expression, I don't think the graphic here shows that it's going to move separately. Uh, as you can see here, uh, that uh, mechanism there shows that the leg has to also move at the same time as well. But at least I thought um, Sophia only blinks and her mouth uh, moves uh, sometimes when she talks uh, very uh, irresponsibly with her mouth. But um, that looks quite interesting. But overall, I'm, I'm quite happy the fact that her arms and also the legs will be uh, moving at the same time. So she'll be able to move around. So she almost becomes like a bit of a little vector there. So, um, and also I just wanted to add in, I realize uh, those who are curious about it, just hang on a second. I'm just gonna show you something here. So this is little Sophia and I'm sure many of you might be curious on why she has all these funny patterns here. And I realize this is my own interpretation and I'm pretty sure that the, the reason behind it. It's not that they're embarrassed about the simple surface on, around, but these are the patterns that a phone uh, will be able to recognize uh, as a shape so that when you would put to place a camera on Little Sophia, they will be able to generate an animation or a overclothing on top of her. Uh, and I just thought that that's something I would be worth um, raising. For example, you see Vector here. Vector recognizes the symbol on a camera. And Vector would be able to go in there and move and, and also reverse and also charge himself there. So that's the way how these robotics work. And same thing if you place a camera with your app or a Sophia app. Sophia will then suddenly be dressed as Santa Claus or Cinderella and etc. But um, quite promising so far. So I'm very excited about the upcoming Sophia here. And I just thought that it will be worth mentioning to you guys about my awareness of the product. And if you're not a backer, if you have still have an opportunity, please do back it up because it's a very interesting project. And Hansel Robotics, we all know the great Sophia, uh, quite promising. Um, also a threat in some people's point of view that she might actually destroy, destroy the whole world. But anyway, I just thought like it would be worth mentioning if you're not a backer to show more interest on this great product called Little Sophia by Handsome Robot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.